Well, we are tracking some breaking news. I know I just uh, gave you the traffic report, but take a look at this. In fact, uh, you know what? Put down what you're doing for just a second and come to the screen. My goodness, uh, we have a line of fire that is uh, literally strewn across the uh, freeway right here. Uh, this is the I-10, right where it meets the I-17. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of having a tough time discerning if that's the 17 or if it's the I-10. Actually, it is the, what it is is, uh, it's the I-17 ramp to the I-10 westbound. So uh, it's not the side our morning rush hour flows on. Uh, am, I, am I able to step into the chroma key? I need to point some things out here, guys. Can, if you can allow me to do that, I would really appreciate it. So again, as you transition from the I-17, as you're coming south, okay, now I'm gonna jump in here. Okay, so these folks are transitioning from the I-17 and they're coming out to the I-10 westbound. So heading outbound. Take a look at this. I'm wondering if there was some kind of chemical on the back of that truck that ended up spilling out onto the roadway and caught fire. It's not unusual to see something like, especially like a pool cleaner, like having some kind of a chlorine uh, that would be flammable. Either way, clearly there is something in the back of that truck that is highly flammable. Uh, again, that is the I-10 westbound. So this is still the ramp. This is the actual freeway. So these folks are coming out of the downtown Phoenix area and heading westbound on the I-10 here. And that is still the ramp from the I-10. 17. So whatever this chemical was on the, the roadway, the fire there is already dissipating, as you can see. I don't have to tell you that. You can see it for yourself. Uh, but the back of the truck uh, is still engulfed in flames. Uh, the fire department not even here. You can see the traffic from the I-17 is at a dead standstill at this point. Uh, and those are uh, lanes from both sides of the freeway. Thank you to our friends at ADOT for zooming in. Yeah, it does look like we've got some kind of liquid and look at the grate here. That liquid might have gotten into the grate and uh, who knows where that drains. So we're gonna continue to keep an eye on this uh, and uh, wait for the fire department to show up. In the meantime, again, if, if you transition from the I-17 to the I-10 westbound, you've got to change your plans. Uh, whatever is the easiest surface street for you to take, take it and then go to at least 35th, 43rd Avenue and then get back on the freeway there. It is 724, we're gonna take a quick break, we're gonna regroup, We'll watch this closely and we'll get you an update on the other side of the commercial break.